doing just the math portion out of NFP 291 first you're going to pick a nozzle coefficient for the hydrant or play pipe that you're flowing these will be the equations the top one will give you the GPM the bottom left equation is the one out of NFPA 291 this portion here is how they derive that this is a simplified way of writing it let's try the first one we have a static of 75 we flow our hydrant and get a pitot reading of 25 while at the same time having a residual pressure of 55 a 0.9 coefficient of discharge a two and a half inch diameter outlet and 25 on the pitot would be entered as follows 29.84 is a constant coefficient of discharge would be 0.9 and then 2.5 squared is 6.25 and pitot pressure of 25 the square root of 25 is 5 and just as a side note pitot pressure is also known as stagnation pressure not static pressure totally different pressure so go ahead do your multiplication you should get 839.53 gallons a minute maybe some decimal places you could round that to 840 if you wanted to incidentally if you would like to practice put another number up here let's see if we uh, had a pedo pressure of 35 then you would get 993 GPM and then at 20 on the city main if you got brought it down your theoretical pressure for the later problem if you wanted to check your work would be 11 point, uh, 1167 and if we decided that we wanted to do one more if you went 45 on the pedo you should get an answer of approximately 1126 and then your theoretical flow would be 1323 gallons a minute in the flow test the first one we did we flowed 839 gallons a minute with a static of 75 and a residual of 55 we calculated that out already as I said earlier the problem in NFPA 291 is this one here so that's to find our available flow at 20 psi residual pressure if we drop this number here down to 20 psi we should be able to get more gallons per minute out of hydrant one this equation will tell us how many gallons per minute we can get out of this hydrant if we drop the residual on this one down to 20. what do the variables mean qr that's the gallons that we want if we drop it down to 20 on the residual hydrant now the QF is the actual gallons we flowed on the hydrant test just a minute ago. In this case, it's going to be 839.53 gallons. HR in this equation, that is kind of confusing. It's actually a word problem. It says pressure drop to desired residual pressure, but what you have to do is you take your recorded static minus the residual you're calculating for, which would be 20 PSI in this case. Do that. That's where you get HR. HF, pressure drop measured during test, that's your recorded static, minus your residual pressure recorded during the flow test. So the way they get that is from this. So I've rewritten this equation. That was our static pressure, residual pressure, and that's our desired residual pressure, like the PD would be like the 20 PSI we're shooting for on residual pressure. Once again, here are the variables what they mean so the HR is actually static pressure taken from residual hydrant minus pressure drop 2 that's the desired one we're going to use 20 again the static pressure and pressure residual rating on residual hydrant during the flow test is PR so 
we took the problem and this is what I showed you a minute ago. Notice there's a power of 0.54 here. You're taking it to 0.54 here. Therefore, you can get rid of these two parentheses, rewrite your equation like that, since you have the same exponent here and here. So first off, we'll work this through one time to see if we're getting the same answer on this equation and the next one. So to go ahead and rewrite this equation, we will go QR equals QF, our gallons per minute was 839.25 times, put our parentheses there, PS, so our static pressure was 75 minus our desired drop to pressure, 20 PSI, divided by, it's the fractional line, that means divide by, PS, which is our static pressure, was 75, minus PR, which is our residual at flow test, 55, to the power of 0.54, PS, minus PD, so 20 from 75, be 55 over and 55 and 75 is 20. We're going to come back to that in a minute. QR equals QF times H sub R over H sub F. And you can say Q sub F, Q sub R. That's actually the proper way. But if you say QF and QR, we'll know what you're talking about. So our QF in our original equation non-simplified or actually this is a simplified equation is 839.25.25 gallons a minute times our hr is ps minus pd is 55 and our hf number ps minus pr is 20. 0.54 now we go back, we see we ended up with the same thing. I just endeavored here to show you how to get to that because this confused me the first time that I saw this equation. So you'll take this into your calculator and you're going to need it otherwise you're going to have some really huge numbers and a really hard time. and see if you can get that answer. So your gallons per minute, 1,149 gallons per minute. And that's rounded to Now, let's go round two, new hydrant flow test. We have a pitot pressure of 12 on this fire hydrant. We have a static of 78, and we have a residual of 35. So 29.84 times 0.9 times 2.5 squared, times the square root of 12. So the 2.5 is gonna come down to a 6.25. And you can enter it into your calculator like this. And you should get 581.6443 or you could round it to 582 uh, the hose or the flow calculation app I have actually for whatever reason rounds it to 581 which would be incorrect following their math but there you go for that round three we're going to take the results from this this 580 
We'll put 581 in here. And we're going to work out this equation. So, the HR, so PS minus PD, will be 78 minus 20, will be 58. HF up here, PS minus PR, 78 minus 35 gives you 43. So the H sub F is 43. Power of 0.54. QF, our gallons per minute, we'll just use 581. See if you can get that answer. And the answer is... 683.6528 and some decimal places here. So as long as you're getting 683, 684 in that area, that's good. Different calculators will round the numbers to different amounts when they're doing their calculations. You know, we're taught not to round till the very end, but calculators will often round during the equation. They'll only go to so many places. And that's it. Thank you.